In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use bias binding as a facing on an armhole. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Vlog TV. This is what a bias binding as a facing looks like on an armhole and um, I've used black bias binding, it's a commercial bias binding and um, one you can buy in the shop you can either get it pre-packed or on the yarn. Um, I've used black as for this tutorial so you can see the contrast and what happens here is I sew on the edge of the actual armhole and then I actually put the facing into the inside of the garment and then top stitch it to keep it in place and also add a, a decorative element to it as well. The first thing you need to do is cut your bias binding to the required length. The next step is to sew a small seam and make sure you do it in the grain of the actual bias binding which is at a 45 degree angle and then you need to press um, once you've clipped away all the little bits that you'll need to when you actually come to do this you need to press that back in line with the actual line of the bias binding and then you curve your bias binding just in the shape of the actual arm hold very gently so it just makes it a little bit more easier to apply the next step once you get to your garment is to actually trim your armhole um, about one centimetre away and then you need to match your seam lines of your bias to the seam line of the garment and then pin that into place so you've got right side of the actual binding and the right side of the garment pin into place oh yes excuse me while I, I, I do this <laughs> And then I'm going to continue, so you're making sure the edges match up and I'm going to continue pinning all the way around and I'll show you what that looks like. I've now pinned my bias binding into place, right side of fabric, the right side of the bias binding is here. And then I'm going to stitch in the actual seam line, hopefully you can see that, of the bias binding. And I'll take that to my machine and show you how it's done. Now that I'm at my machine, what you need to do is make sure that your work is uh, right side. Um, your needle is going to be travelling into the crease of the actual binding. I'm using contrasting thread so that you can see and I'll just sew halfway around just to show you how easy it is, let's say. In the crease going all the way around pulling my pins out as I go because I don't like to sew over my pins and I wouldn't recommend it so I'll stop there so remember I'm in the crease I'm going to continue sewing all the way back to the beginning and then take my work to the table and show you how what's the next stage the bias binding is now sewn into place now you need to work on the wrong side of your garment it's just easier to actually position the bias binding that through do remember to press and then I'm going to fold concealing the raw edges line up my seams of the bias binding to the seam of the garment and put into place now I'm going to show you here we need to make sure that you are a couple of millimeters of your actual fashion fabric showing you don't want the bias binding to be seen. I'll just do that again. Just a couple of millimetres and then put a pin in and then you continue that all the way around and I'll do that and I'll come back to you. My bias binding is now pinned into position and it's ready to be top stitched. Working on the wrong side of your garment so you can actually see, judge the width of the bias binding. It can be done on the right side, um, this is the way I think is easier. I'm going to be stitching quite close to the edge of the bias binding and you can also use a larger stitch. It's just a matter of choice. Pull the pins out as I go. I'll just go halfway and um, I'll show you what it looks like. So remember, quite close to the edge of the bias binding, keep turning your work, keep it flat as well so you can actually see if there's going to be any pluckers that are going to be happening then just use your hand wheel, put your needle down, lift your feet and then just make sure your work is flat. Put your feet back down, remove your pin. 
if you don't like working with your pins you can always base stitch all the way around as well but I'm going to continue sewing all the way around and I'll come back to you there we have it we've now top stitched the bias binding and you may see it's a bit kind of ripple there and all that requires is me taking it to the ironing board and giving it a good steam press and I'll just show you what it looks like on the inside so there we have an armhole that has bias binding for its facing I hope you found that video tutorial helpful if you have any questions regarding using bias binding as a facing please use a comment box below and I'll see you